Boeing's string of incidents keep getting longer. On Monday, more than 50 people were injured on a flight from Sydney to Auckland when the Boeing 737 MAX experienced technical problems. The plane just dropped really suddenly out of the blue. Everyone started screaming, crying. People were going, launched out of their seats. There was like blood pouring from people's faces. An Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX was also involved in an incident in January when one of its doors flew off mid-flight, leading the US National Transportation Safety Board to investigate the incident. But it faced resistance from Boeing in accessing information. It then called for help from whistleblowers earlier this month. In fact, I received a whistleblower uh, report myself uh, anonymously, we received uh, uh, some information that I made sure our team has. Uh, it also went to our team, so we do have a couple of ways. Uh, the best way is for people to reach out to us at the website of witness at ntsb.gov. Several days later, a whistleblower and former longtime employee of Boeing, John Barnett, was found dead in a hotel in South Carolina from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. His lawyers said they didn't see any indication he would take his own life and called for a thorough investigation. The Federal Aviation Administration has undertaken a six-week audit on Boeing and its supplier Spirit, and the New York Times found they passed 56 audits and failed 33, with 97 instances of alleged non-compliance. Those include using a hotel key card to check a door seal and dishwashing liquid as lubricant in the fit-up process. Responding to the audit, Boeing said it will work with employees found to have violated company manufacturing procedures to ensure they understand proper instructions.